I'm Amy from East Bears, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to find the model number on your tumble dryer. If your tumble dryer develops faults and is in need of replacement parts, then your model number can help you find the correct part for your machine. Many spare parts look very similar but can vary slightly for specific makes and models. So it's important to have your model number on hand when searching for spare parts to make sure that you're getting the correct part for your machine. If you're diagnosing faults with your machine, your model number can also come in handy there too, as you can search for common problems with your specific model. Another reason why knowing your model number is important is for the safety of your appliance. You may have heard news reports of manufacturers recalling appliances from time to time due to safety concerns. These recalls do happen and they can affect any one of your household appliances. Continuing to run your appliance after it's been recalled is a danger to you and your home. When a manufacturer does issue a recall, they'll release a series of makes and models of all the appliances affected by the issue. So if you know your model number, you can check through the list and find out whether yours has been affected and whether it needs to be repaired or replaced to make it safe. For more information on appliance recalls, take a look at our video up here and we'll link even more about appliance safety at the end of this video. So now let's get to finding the model number on your tumble dryer. We're looking for a sticker or a rating plate that should have all the information we need on it. So first, let's take a look behind the door. We want to look at the door frame and also around the door itself. As we can see on this Hoover tumble dryer, the rating plate's here. But if it's not there on your appliance, we can look underneath the kick plate on the front. And also on the control panel fascia. If you still can't find it there, you need to look on the side and also the back of the machine. If your model number has become faded or rubbed off, then not to worry, we can still help you find the information you need. Take a look at our video up here where we explain what to do if your model number is no longer readable or you just can't find it. So now we've located the model number successfully, we'll talk about what we need to look for. The format of the model number and the product or serial numbers that you may also need can vary depending on the manufacturer of the appliance. The model number will typically contain letters and numbers and contain special characters such as a forward slash or a dash. The data sticker may also indicate which number on there is a model number by saying something like mod or model in front of the number. I'm just going to quickly run through how some other popular brands display their model numbers too. So if you have an AEG, an Electrolux or a Zanussi model, then you want to look for the model number and also the specific product number which is 11 digits, often starts with a nine and usually has a space or a dash before the last two digits. If you have a Hoover or a Candy model, then you want to look for the model number and also the serial number, which is usually 16 digits and starts with a three. And if you have a Whirlpool, an Ignis or a Bauknit model, then you want to look for the model number and also the service number, which is usually 12 digits and starts with 85. We hope this video has helped you find the model number and the other important information you need on your tumble dryer. Make sure that you take note of these should you ever need replacement parts or to diagnose an issue with your machine. We'll also link down below where on our website you can find all the spares and accessories you need to fix your tumble dryer yourself. And as promised, here are our other appliance safety tip videos so you can keep your tumble dryer and your other appliances around your home safe. For more videos on maintaining, repairing and diagnosing issues with your appliances, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching!